When I first looked at Joomla, I wondered if this really was the right tool for me. This lesson helps you to understand the main benefits of Joomla over the two other main contenders, WordPress and Drupal. Here are the main points that attracted me to Joomla. It is free. Many of the sites I develop are low cost, so I needed a low cost CMS. Joomla is free, which allows me to use it for even the most basic of sites. It's also cross-platform. It doesn't matter if you use a Mac, PC or Linux, you can use Joomla. As the site development is done at the server, it doesn't matter what computer you use. And when it comes to hosting a Joomla site, you can choose a host that uses the Apache server, which usually means Linux, or Windows IIS. Most Joomla sites are hosted on Linux powered servers. Support. The greatest criticism of open source applications is the lack of support. Joomla has an extremely large user base, which means there are a lot of people available to answer your questions at the Joomla forum. If you really get stuck, there are commercial support providers and you can outsource your project to thousands of keen developers. Long history. As there are so many CMS products available, some of them do disappear very quickly. If you make the wrong choice, you're stuck with software that has no support or ongoing development. Joomla is here for the long term and has a history dating back to 2000. There are loads of extensions. Extensions are programs created by third parties that extend the functionality of Joomla. Examples include shopping carts, photo galleries and membership sites. There are thousands of Joomla extensions available, so when you need to add functionality to your site, there is a good chance that a solution already exists. Secure. By itself, Joomla is very secure. However, like any software, you need to keep it updated. When I weighed up these benefits, Joomla looked like a good option. But what about other popular content management systems? There are two big contenders, Drupal and WordPress. Drupal is along the same lines as Joomla. WordPress is more directed to blogging, but these days it can do a lot more. Now, there's nothing like a software comparison to spark a debate, and as you would expect, I am somewhat biased towards Joomla, but I will try to be objective. There are actually some really good features in these other products. The first thing I'll point out is the amount of search interest between the three. Let's take a look at a tool called Google Insights. This report displays the amount of interest in the search terms Joomla, WordPress and Drupal over time in Google. The blue line is Joomla, WordPress is red and Drupal is orange. When I first used this argument, Joomla had a clear lead over the others, but now the interest in WordPress is clearly the highest of the three. Drupal is a fair way behind. Now, to be fair, this doesn't prove much. Joomla and WordPress could be terrible products that happen to be well marketed and therefore attracts interest. But I like to use this as a starting point because it provides a broad overview of the interest in the product. Now, let's take a closer look at the other main contenders. And I'll start with Drupal. Broadly speaking, Drupal is more developer orientated and Joomla is more user focused. Developers who favour Drupal do so because they find it easier to manipulate and create new functionality. However, if you're not a developer, you will find it harder to learn to use Drupal than Joomla. One advantage of a CMS is you can restrict who can and cannot view and edit content. Although Joomla always had this ability, Drupal used to be much stronger in this area. However, Joomla 1.6 includes a comprehensive access control list feature that gives site owners a lot of flexibility. The biggest criticism of Joomla used to be the way it stored content and the Drupal system was more flexible. 
However, once again, Joomla 1.6 has solved this by introducing a new nested category solution. So the main criticism that Joomla used to receive against Drupal has been resolved with version 1.6. However, it is still fair to say that some developers prefer the way Drupal works over Joomla. And if you're a developer just building sites for yourself, then this might be a good reason to choose it. But if you're not a programmer, or you are building sites for others, then Joomla is a better option. You or your client will want the easiest experience to build then and maintain content, and Joomla is the best in this regard. Another big point in Joomla's favour is its popularity. This means that there are fantastic extensions available, including e-commerce, document management, and community sites. Also, a CMS displays its content using a template design that you either create or you obtain from a template provider. When you're starting out, there's a good chance that you'll use a pre-made template, and there are far more templates created for Joomla than Drupal. If you're a web developer, you can use Joomla's popularity to help sell your services. Your customers will feel more at ease if you tell them that you use the most popular CMS that is supported by thousands of developers. That means if they ever want to change developers, then it will be easy to find someone else to take over their website. Now, of course, you don't want to lose their business in the future, and the whole point of using Joomla is so they can manage their own site. But this assurance will help you win more business. Now, let's have a look at WordPress. WordPress is designed to help people create blogs and overall it is an excellent product. WordPress is regarded as the best blogging platform. Joomla can be used really successfully as a blog, but to take advantage of advanced blogging features you do need to get some extensions. WordPress is a simpler product than Joomla and as a result the interface doesn't need as much functionality so it is easier to use than Joomla. WordPress has add-ons available, but you'll never experience the full functionality than you do from a fully functional CMS like Joomla. This became less so with the release of WordPress 3, but Joomla is a much more comprehensive CMS. If you purely want a blog, then WordPress may be the better option. However, many bloggers find that they want to do more in the future. I found that it made more sense to start with a platform that provides the flexibility to add functionality in the future. So, there's a quick wrap up of why I went with Joomla. It can take a little while to get your head around it, which is why you're watching these videos. But once you've set up your first site, I'm sure you'll love using it. The next lesson explains what software and other requirements you need to build a Joomla website. By now, you should be getting a good feeling for what Joomla can do and why it's a good choice for all sorts of websites. We want to be your partner on your Joomla journey and one of the ways we do this is with our weekly newsletter. Our readers regularly tell us that it's one of the few newsletters they remain subscribed to because it always contains useful tips, reviews, interviews and special offers. We mostly talk about Joomla, of course, but we also throw in the occasional general advice on how to improve your online presence. Visit our website now by clicking the link you'll find on this page, look for the newsletter link, and note that when you subscribe, we give you access to some very important Joomla tutorials for free, along with some other goodies. The next lesson walks you through the requirements for a Joomla website.